Today on Singles Court, Derek wants Sasha's down and out sister out of their apartment. She's yeah, what costing us money now. She's running up the phone book. But Sasha is a sister of mercy. How long are you going to let her I don't have a time frame. She's my sister. It's time for the pest to leave their nest. What have you been doing to my sister? Why don't you answer the question? Who's lying? And I am 28 years old. I have an 11 o'clock curfew. Now yeah. that is what I object to, Angela. But Daddy want wants Jason real... tucked in by 11. I understand you're upset. I am trying to, to teach him some life lessons. Jason oh, says it's time for I Dad to grow up. It's my house. I think I deserve to have it. Well, and you know so what? I, I can walk around if in my I pay rent in your house, then I have certain rights there too. You know Isn't what? That... Well, hello there, and welcome to Singles Court, the top-rated show on the Singles Broadcast Network, as rated by me, the show's producer, Michael Day. And now it's time to meet the Gloria Gaynor of good advice, relationship <laughs> mediator, Angela Siegel. I will survive? Yes, you will, baby. That's, you're right. That's true. I can, I can feel that. Okay, shall we uh, get down to business, or shall we just chit-chat all day? Well, if we do, you won't survive. Oh, that's true, yeah. Oh, I gotta pay the bills. That's right. Okay, well, in our studio today, we have Derek and Sasha. They have been living together for over a year, and everything was great, until Sasha's little sister, Carrie, showed up on their door asking to stay for a few days. And uh, so she did, but a few days has turned into five months, and Derek claims it's affecting their relationship. So I call this the case of loyal little sister, or it's a family affair. Oh, Michael, oh, Michael. Well, Derek, give me an idea. What's going on? It sounds like there's a, more than one person in, in your little nest. Yeah. Um, we have a small two-bedroom apartment. Her sister comes to live in my office. Okay. Um, your office, which is in the apartment. Which is in the apartment, which is one of the bedrooms. But I turn it my answer machine, my, my desk's in there, some of my, you know, my phone's okay, in there. Okay, it's your office. Go on. Fine. Okay, so she's taken over my office. She, she's, she, she's been supposed to, she was only supposed to be there for two months, at least. She, she, need, she broke up with her boyfriend or something. She's, she, she asked to move in. She said she just wants to get away from that town. She comes in. She said it will only be for a month or two until she, she gets her, she finds a job and finds another place. It's okay. turned into be, it's almost six months now. Okay, so now she's still there. So, Sasha, what's the you deal? Know, Why is she still there's there? There's no problem with her being there. The way I grew up was family takes care of family. She's in a hard way right now. She's trying to make ends meet. She's trying to figure out where she, where she is in this life and, and what she's about. It wouldn't and be bad. It wouldn't be bad. I'd let you talk. Anyway, she's trying to find, figure out what she's about. And the whole point of it is, he's an only child. He doesn't know what it's like to have siblings. Okay, to have I mean, family, I can like understand the, feel, you know? the family thing. I'm yeah. all for that. You yeah. know? It's a family affair. I understand yeah, it that. Is. However, it sounds as though you all had a discussion and he and you agreed together that she could stay for a certain period of time. It wasn't, it, it wasn't open and shut like that. It wasn't like, okay, you're only going to stay for six months. It was, you can stay here until you get yourself together. Well, but it's don't you think that has to have some, what time frame would you put on that? She's my baby sister. I, I that agree. That was not what I no, asked you. No, the thing about what it is... What time frame would you put on that? Does that mean whenever you want to? Does that mean when you can stand I, on your... I think that in certain cases that you really have to make a point of, of just letting people figure out what the, what's well, going on. So how you have long, no time frame. How long frame. are you so going to let her stay? I don't have stay. a time frame. She's my sister. And but she's this, not really... She's cleaning she's up She's not even paying rent, mess. though. She's not you even paying rent. You know what? She doesn't have to pay rent. She's cooking. Do you cook? She doesn't she's clean up after... She doesn't clean up after herself. Hello? Maybe she doesn't clean up after herself. She cleans up after you for Pete's sake. Every morning I go into the kitchen and there's crumbs all, Derek, all over Derek. the place. You know what? Remember, Angela, Singles Broadcast Network. Remember? Tell me, there's no time frame for her to be there. You all, it sounds like you did not determine a clear plan when she moved okay. in. We really right. did. So how, now how you're kind of like, like switching up, trying to change no, no, the No, I'm not trying to switch up anything. Well, then what are you doing? Okay. Let's, you know, the, she's the, not even in the house a, most of the time. Most of the time, she's out of the house. She comes let, to wake up. You know what, Sasha? Let him talk. You know, what, you know, you know what the point is? She's running. She's yeah, costing us money now. She's running up the phone bill. She's, this boyfriend that she's supposed to break up with a couple oh, of you know months what, ago. The, issue here. the boyfriend, boyfriend that she, she's calling so him does, does every night on the phone. The phone it's cost two hundred bucks last month my father for this phone bill. That this this little she's not even broken up with the guy. It's not the issue, Sasha. It is the issue because it's affecting your relationship. 
So you have a third party, which is your sister, that is living there, which apparently, correct me if I'm wrong, she's not paying any bills at all. She's not paying bills, but she is doing she's the cooking. She's using us, all right? She's, she's using, using you. us. She's, she's using. She's Excuse literally. me. That's what I heard from my parents about you years ago. And I managed to stay with you and found out that you weren't using me. I supported you as well. So you're trying to tell me that Why I can support you, for? but I can't support you. What are you going there for? What do you mean, what Sasha. am I going there for? All right, support to you, to you, to you. You came to see Angela. Talk to Angela. Sorry. Thank you. Or I'm talk sorry. to the hand, because I'm really not feeling this right now. I'm sorry. Please help me understand why you feel justified carrying, car carrying, carry. I mean, that doesn't make sense to me. It, to me, it's just about, see, my father says this all the time. He's selfish. He likes to take care of himself. But your father doesn't live with you. No. We're talking about the relationship okay, between but you the selfish. whole point. Yeah, you're selfish. Derek. I'm selfish. The, the whole point of it is. Okay, you want to know what this whole thing is about? You want to know what the real you know, story is? You know, she asked me you a know question. What the real story yeah, is? what is the real story? One sec, I just got to tell no, this. No, one sec. You know what? You should have told her outside the door. Well, tell us now. But what's now, the since big you story? must open up, please let the floodgates open. What? I didn't want to have to go here. Okay. Go, go there. No, go. Or go. Please go. What? Whatever. Your little sister's hitting on me. All right. <laughs> I know you wouldn't. You know what? Me. You sinking to that level? No, 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 no. You no. sink to Listen, that level. Every morning. You're start Derek, pulling that stuff in here. Talk to me. Okay. I'm walking out of the. I'm walking. She's leaving for work. She goes. She works at the bank. All right. Yeah. She okay. leaves to work early in the morning. I can't believe I, you. I this. get up. It's summertime. I'm getting up. I really I'm, can't I'm going this. to the kitchen. The bathroom door's wide open. Little sister's in the in the in the shower. With her towel. Hi. What, Oops, what are the you lying falls. for? I'm not what are you lying, lying about for? This. Why would I lie about this? What have you been doing this? to my sister? I'm not doing anything you know what? to your sister. So and that's the point. I'm trying to. I'm trying not to do anything with your sister. You know I don't right? want to do this anymore. You know what? You it doesn't really matter. I don't want to be here anymore. You know. Well, you're going to like stay till it's finished. Okay. And we're supposed to be the, here being doing doing honest things. Well, and this is going to be. I'm telling you the truth, all right? Let's get to the bottom. Let's get to the bottom, Michael. I think we need to call Carrie. Oh yeah, let's call Carrie. Let's call Carrie. See what we're talking about now. Because that's the best, the only way. I cannot believe you would start this. I can't believe. Why, Angel? I got her on the line. Hold it. I'm going to put you through. Thank goodness. Maybe there'll be some interesting things happening here. Carrie. Hello. Hi. This is Angela Siegel from Singles Court. How are you doing? I'm okay. Okay. I have your sister and her boyfriend here, and it seems as though there seems to be some issue with you. Making passes at Derek? Uh, that is not true, okay? It's Derek who's coming on to me. Okay. He parades around half naked or walks into my me. room to fix things that aren't even broken, okay, Sasha? And if, if you don't believe me, it's my office, you just okay? ask I gotta him, go in there for ask the phone. Ask Derek, I gotta, okay? I, ask Derek whether he ever invited me to have public sex in the alcove of the War Memorial in McNally Park. You ask him. Oh, my God. You How, why did you tell her You know what? That? Why did I, why, why did I, what? Derek, what did I tell her? That? Why would I tell her about that? the first place we had sex? Michael. What's wrong with you? All right, you two. Pig. Don't make me get up and come over there because I'm not wearing pants. You know what? Maybe he needs to see that. You know what, Derek? I have a question for you. You just heard that. So somebody's lying. Okay, let me ask you a question. No! No, you're not asking me a question. Why don't you answer the question? Who's lying? She's lying. About? She's lying? Of course she's lying. You know what? This isn't the first what? time you that I can Sasha, tell you what it's the last Sasha, time. Sasha, Sasha, Sasha. You couldn't resolve this. That's why you're here. Okay? I didn't know he was making did, passes at my sh Is that true? Did you or did you not make a pass at her sister? I didn't make a, any pass at her. So she's making the whole thing oh up. My God. Well, she must have heard her. You must have told her about that. I must have told her about that because I'm going to tell my sister where's the first place I well, had sex, right? How would she know right? then? How would, why she, would, know? I, why would, how I, would she know? Why would I, why you're would a I come on, you're why a pink, why would I come on the show? Why would I come on the show? Ding, 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 ding. We're out of here. Resolution time. Resolution time. I tell you, you two give new meaning to three's a crowd. Derek, I, I don't know who's telling the truth. I don't know if it's you or if it's Carrie. But I tell you that you're in a situation that's pretty tough at this point because you have to be very careful because if you come right out and hit on her, obviously, that makes you a creep. If she accuses you of doing it and you didn't do it, then you're sitting there trying to prove something that's going to be really hard to prove to somebody who is family. So you're going to have to decide, is this really worth it? You, on the other hand, Sarah, have said, well, family is family, and you know, that's what's most important, and that's admirable. But you have to realize that even in this situation, family has responsibility. There needs to be a time frame. Carrie should not be allowed to live there without any 
boundaries and be allowed to not have any responsibilities just because she's family. You're not teaching her anything and you're not saving her from anything. You know, in a relationship, families always become part of the relationship. And that's really difficult because you have to work with, within all the different personalities and try to come together and come up with something meaning, meaningful. In this situation, you were one-sided in that you felt, as Sasha, as though I say it, it's my family and this is the way it should be and you just have to accept it. And that left Derek in an uncomfortable situation. I'll tell you, Derek, you have to walk on eggshells until this is resolved. And what you must remember is when it's all said and done, it's going to be he said, she said, and blood is thicker than water. And that's that in black and white. Next on Singles Court. I'm 28 years old. I have an 11 o'clock curfew. Now yeah. that is what I object to, Angela. But Daddy wants want Jason so tucked in by 11. I understand you're upset. I am trying to, to teach him some life lessons. Jason says it's time for Dad to grow up. It's my house. I think I deserve to have it. If I pay rent in your house, then I have certain rights there too. And Singles Court is back with relationship mediator Angela Siegel. Busy today, aren't we? Busy, busy, and we have another family affair in the studio, but of a slightly different nature. This is uh, Roy here in the studio and his son, Jason. Hello. Now, they're not lovers. Of course, that would be a bit too weird for our forum here. <laughs> Even for us. Yes. <laughs> the problem arises that Jason still <laughs> lives at home, and it's getting to be a bit of a problem between him and his dad because his dad, Roy, is imposing... Uh, certain rules that Jason doesn't feel apply to him at his age. Right. So I call this the case of my house, my rules. Hmm. Well, Jason, let's start with you because you have issue with your dad's rules. Tell me what's going on. What? Oh, what, what has he not done to me? All right. I don't know. Now, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit. What have bit. I done for you? I moved in with I my father everything for about you. five years ago when my mother passed away. Yeah, okay? that's right. Things that's went right. fine and till I've up about... And I helped him every step along the way. Things went every fine till up about four years ago, okay? I put a roof okay? over his head. Okay. I bought him a car. I, 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 I fed him. You know? can, I, can I tell her, please? Can I, can I tell her why I've brought well, us both try. here? You can try. You can try. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. Why, why don't you let him? I know, you know, about four years ago, he started to make uh, increasingly unrealistic demands they on me. They weren't okay? unrealistic demands. Now, at first, at first, Roy, Roy, Roy. At first it's okay. All right. I come home one night, arbitrarily says, hey, you, you're cooking two nights a week. That's right. Okay. You have to cook. What's Angela, wrong with that? I can't cook. I asked him to cook I'm two meals a, cook. a week out of the whole week. I, I think that's reasonable. No, no, listen. I mean, and what I, does he I, make? He I makes cook macaroni for him. and cheese I cook and for hot I cook for him. I cook for his girlfriend, Judy, sometimes. Uh, okay? Yeah. That's fine. I do that. You know, all right? Angela, it's come funny. On. I can see the resemblance here. They're both rude and they never stop talking. Who knew? How about one at a time? Thank okay. You. Look, and genetics are strong things. Look, aren't look, they? look, 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 look. I, look, I, like I said, I got in the car. I, I, I put him through college. You know, I mean, what? You have a degree, and what do you do for a living? I work in a music store. He works in a music store. Right. How old are you? Know, How old are you? He's 28 Roy, years old. Roy, 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 Roy. When you walked into the the studio, did you see Singles Court? Did you see the name? Yeah. Did you realize like how it works here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I talk. I ask the questions. You answer. I understand. But okay. It really well, then, if you understand, then please, a little no. respect. You want that in your house? I want that in my house. So, tell her. Fine. Go ahead. Tell her. Tell All her. All right. So, about six months ago, he says, "I want you to start paying rent." Yeah. Okay. You're not pulling your weight around here. You gotta start, you know, measuring up, giving me some of the money you make. Now, I work in a music store. Okay, I don't so make. Hey, look. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Look, you know, I need all no, no, you know what, Roy, I'm serious. I am not kidding. This gavel will be hitting right off the top of your head. Okay? You know, I, I, I really no, have, I no, have tried. No, no, you know what, because now I understand, I understand you're upset. I am trying to, to teach him some life lessons so that when he goes out into the world, that he can act on his own and that he can, he can have some kind of, oh, of, of you know. Right now, Roy, if she gets well, out of that chair. I'm just wondering, like, please explain to me why you're here. Because you have all the answers. Go ahead, you tell it. That's, I'm trying to, if you'd let me finish. All right. All right. About six months ago, he tells me to start paying rent. I do this. I don't earn a lot of money, but I give him some of my okay, paycheck. Okay, so you're paying, let's, let's recap, right. okay, please. I'm cooking. You're cooking, yeah. you're paying rent. Paying rent. None of which seem unreasonable to me. Did no. you wreck the car? No, I do Roy. this for him. About two months ago, Angela, he tells me he doesn't want my friends in the house anymore. No. I have friends over, we're watching a video, we're drinking a beer. Okay. He comes downstairs no. in his shorts, yeah, tells I my friends to leave. my house. I, no. If I want to come downstairs in my shorts, in my house, I'm allowed to do that. Look, I'm paying rent in that house. Loser friends, I don't care. Roy. They get out of the house. Do I have to come over there and hold your mouth closed? Oh, please. Thank you. Thank you. 
So let me just, let me talk to you, Roy, because obviously you can't wait to open your mouth. So let me talk to you, okay? Right. So far, what he's told me does not seem unreasonable, but you do. Explain to me why you give these rules in such an antagonistic way, because if it's anything like what you're doing here, Thank you. I, I can see why you have the situation. I don't think 11 o'clock is unreasonable. I don't think it's unreasonable. 11 o'clock, what? Things. Explain to me. What 11 o'clock for him to be in the house, I don't think it's unreasonable. So you have a curfew as well. Plus, I'm plus I, years I have old. taught him lessons so that he can move out. I am 28 years old. I have an 11 o'clock curfew. Now, yeah. that is what I object to, Angela. Okay, let me, let me ask you a question. Okay, let me ask you a question, Jason. Why don't you move out? Because, you know, I want to move out, and I'm in my own studio. I, I work in a record store, like I said. I don't earn a lot of money. Money's a bit tight right now. I don't really have the cash to move out. <laughs> Money's always going to be tight if you keep working Look, in a record store. I've done store. everything Look, you want I me to do. I need you to move out. I need it. What, Roy? Roy, Angela, okay? Why is it so important to you that you teach him a lesson and that you yell at him? And why is that so important to you? Yeah, why is it so important to you? A man's got to grow up. Do you have, do you have Dad, a Dad, I've done everything yes, you want I me do. to do. Yes. Do, I do. Roy, do you have a reason for wanting him to move out so badly? Yes. Well, what is it? How about telling him, telling us? I want my girlfriend to move in. I want Judy to move in. And she's such a good person that she doesn't want, she doesn't want to make a rift between he and I but you can't by, tell force, me this? by me forcing him to move out. That's you, what's going on. You do this? And I don't think that's such a terrible thing. Okay, you really well then don't. why, if you don't think it's such a terrible thing, Roy, then explain to me why the elaborate scheme of trying to make him miserable in order Thank just you. so your girlfriend can move in. I, because I couldn't just go up to him and say, you move out now because I want Judy to move in. Because if I did that, if I did that, then she would be upset with me and she wouldn't move in. Let's think about this. And I need her in let's, my life. Let's think More about this. More than you this. need your son, honestly. Yeah. Let's think about this, Roy boy. You couldn't Man. tell him, yet you can sit here and, and just scream like a raving maniac, like Beetle Bailey, yelling at the top of your lungs, but you could not tell your own son that you want your girlfriend to move in. Help me understand that. No, you sound I... like Sergeant Carter on Gomer Pyle. I don't understand why you cannot make a simple statement to him. Look, she's a younger woman. She's attractive. I, I don't want to lose this woman. It, she's very sensitive. She wanted me to, to, to approach him in a certain way. I was, what, only what would trying that be? To do, I was only trying to do what she asked. If I went to him and I said, you move out, Ang I want Angela to move in, then she would probably not move in. She might even leave me. So your girlfriend's name is Angela. I hope she's smarter I than Judy. I am. I meant Judy. <laughs> Do you talk? Do you talk to her like that? Do you talk to your girlfriend? No, no, of course not. Okay, I don't but talk so to let her. me make sure I understand you correctly. That tone of voice that you've had here the whole time, the antagonistic attitude that you've had here the whole time, is reserved for your son, your flesh and blood. But yet you don't. Who talk pays to your, rent in your house? Who you cooks your meals? You don't talk minimal to your, rent, crappy meals. I mean, come on. Roy, look I've at done me. everything for you, Roy, kid. Roy, I've done everything, and you're 28. It's time to Roy, get up. look at me. Do you understand that you that that that's your flesh and blood? It's hard for him. I understand what you're trying to do. I understand the lesson. But do, do you see that you're giving him attitude that you don't even give your girlfriend? I was 18 when I got out of my house. I got on my own. And, I, and, and as far as me and my girlfriend, that's an issue between me and my girlfriend. And, 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 and if I want my house, it's my house. I think I deserve to have it. Well, and you know so what? I, I can walk around if in my I pay rent in your I'm house, then I have certain rights there, too. You know isn't, what? That, isn't that right? Listen, hello, girl talking. You know, I'll be back with my resolution, and you know what you're going to find out? That that might be your house, but more importantly, that's your son. You know, nothing is accomplished when one parent yells at a child, and it's supposed to be advice. Roy, it's commendable that you wanted to teach him a lesson and have him learn the lessons of life. I understand exactly where you're coming from. I'm a parent as well, and I feel the same way. I don't have a problem with rent, chores, responsibilities, because those are all necessary things that children who turn into adults need in life. I do have a problem with you trying to create a hostile environment so that he'll move out so you can move in your girlfriend. You, on the other hand, Jason, have to realize that you need to grow up if you can't pay rent based on one job, get two. If you can't pay rent based on two jobs, get three. There's no reason for you to complain about where you live but not be willing to do what it takes to get out. That's your responsibility. You know, we don't get to pick our parents, but guess what? We don't pick our children either. Our task is to do the best we can with what we have. 
And I believe in this case, Roy, you did try to do and are trying to do the best you can. And once again, that is commendable. But you have to realize that your home is your castle and you can both share the castle. And it's an opportunity right now for you to repair this relationship. Because remember, after all, it's just a house. The only thing that's going to make it a home is the relationship between father and son. And that's that in black and white. Well, there it is. And what did we learn? Sisters have to look out for each other, sure, but you better keep an eye on the boyfriend as well. And misery loves company. Unless, of course, misery is your dad and misery has a girlfriend in the wings. So that's about it. So join us next time here at Singles Court, the final word for singles.